Judge McAfee is warning Fannie Willis to not talk about race. Now, people said that it's very unprofessional, and I think Judge McAfee is thinking the same thing. Just don't talk about it. It's very unprofessional. But Willis is like, nope, I know the judge told me not to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. So there's a very high chance that Willis might get kicked out of the courtroom, not because of this incident, but just so much evidence against her right now. Not to mention on social media and on X, most people are not on the side of Annie Willis. People are actually against Willis and feel like Willis is doing a pretty terrible job. And then there's also very sus stuff going on with Fannie Willis right now in the misusing of federal funds. You also have some of the Trump guys out there in the courtroom on Twitter saying that there's like $700,000 of missing funds. What's going on here? Now, there's also the audio clip you can watch yourself. This was like a month or two back, but 56 days after this audio, Willis fired Amanda and basically didn't really say much. That's some really suspicious business here. And then there's also this case, Willis' coordination with the White House. So this whole news was Willis, before the whole Trump situation, she actually visited the White House. And now conspiracy theories are coming up saying that Willis probably had some sort of deal or coordination with information with the White House. And then she started persecuting Trump. Now, the Biden administration said that they have nothing to do with the whole Fannie Willis and the whole Trump election case. But... Like I said, it doesn't exactly look great when the timelines all match up perfectly like a puzzle. So this is why I get a bunch of conspiracy theories and how the coordination of the White House, hey, uh, they seem to be all going against Donald Trump here. Now, another thing is from Harrison Floyd, we also have a lot of voters in Georgia. Signature verification was not done over 147,000 mail-in ballots. This was not maintained. Scans of ballots were destroyed. And there wasn't really any sort of management at all. Basically saying that Fulton County violated the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Voting Rights Act of 1965. This is serious business, guys. This is not something you mess around with. Especially, we're not talking about one or two votes here. We're talking about over 100,000 mail-in ballots. This could definitely change the tide. And many people feel like there's some really suspicious things happening especially with Fannie Willis and also the relationship with Nathan Way that involves a lot of money and political dealings. There's also instances like this with the White House coordination and then also audio clips release. I mean, this is a lot of evidence on Fannie Willis's part. There's a very high evidence that she probably did some very bad things and she wants to be in the courtroom for some reason, but the chances of her getting kicked out is getting higher and higher and higher by the day. Disqualification of Willis is astronomically high right now. The judge and everyone else in the courtroom, the lawyers are still looking over all the evidence, Donald Trump's appeal of the situation of her being on the courts, and the drama is gonna keep unfolding and definitely grab the popcorn. And check this out, there's a new candidate for the Fulton County District Attorney. She actually went off on Fannie Willis, says this is not a partisan thing at all. It is right versus wrong, and what she done is wrong, and she has to be held accountable. With the firing of Nathan Wade, doesn't look good. Misappropriate use of funds, a bunch of conspiracy theories popping up, White House stuff, and then lastly, uh, this thing? Yeah, I don't really think Fannie Willis is in any good shape at all. In fact, I gotta tell you, most of the voters right now are not pleased that they voted for Willis, and this whole entire fiasco, you kinda see Willis in the situation just getting worse and worse. But definitely, I wanna keep you guys up to date. A lot more stuff happened to Fannie Willis' case, and see you later, guys.